Okay, here we are in paragraph 11 of chapter 1 of 1984 by George Orwell. And I have chosen four vocabulary words from this paragraph. We have swallow, belly, crumpled, and whereupon. Let's start with swallow. Do you remember this fine fellow from paragraph 10? Do you, re do you recall what he was doing in that picture? What is this motion of forcing down liquid or forcing something down your throat? That's called gulp, and that comes from the sound gulp, 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 gulp. But if you're just drinking something normally or eating something normally, then the word that you use is swallow. So gulp is a special word for too much, too fast. And swallow is the word that you should normally use for when something passes down your throat. The word belly means stomach, and it's kind of a cute word, a funny word for a stomach. Maybe children would like to use that word, or mm, so sometimes stomach sounds a little technical. It's a little bit more fun a little bit more friendly to use a fun word like belly. The word crumple as a verb is something that you can do to something flexible. Usually when people use the word crumple, they're talking about some kind of paper. You can see the action behind me, what this woman is doing. She's crumpling paper. But you can also crumple clothes. Anything of that type of flexibility can be crumpled. So when you add the ed ending to it, crumple becomes crumpled, and that is a description word for something where that has happened. So if you have crumpled clothes, maybe, maybe you didn't actually do that to your clothes, but maybe that's how your clothes look because you need, to, you need to iron them. If you have crumpled paper, maybe somebody didn't do this, but the, the paper has been mistreated for a while and now it looks like it's in very bad condition. In Winston's case, he had a package of crumpled cigarettes, or a crumpled package of cigarettes. So probably he's been taking them in and out of his pocket, and over time, it, the, the pack is now in very bad condition because of all of the handling done to it. He didn't actually do that to the cigarettes, or maybe he did, who knows. Let's take a minute to review some of the words that we've talked about, and also to review what is happening in the paragraph and in the story. In paragraph 10, remember Winston gulps down, gulp, gulp, some victory gin. Remember, gin is a very strong alcoholic drink. Okay, and this is very bad tasting gin. So, uh, instantly his face turned scarlet. Scarlet is a type of red. And the water ran out of his eyes. The stuff was like nitric acid. And moreover, in swallowing it, one had the sensation of being hit on the back of the head with a rubber club. So, when, when you swallow the victory gin, it seems to, to hit you in the head somehow. The next moment, however, the burning in his belly. Remember, belly is kind of a fun, cute word for stomach. The burning in his belly died down, and the world began to look more cheerful. So now that he's had his victory gin, he feels a little bit better about the world. He took a cigarette from a crumpled packet of a crumpled packet marked victory cigarettes. Remember, crumple is what you do to paper or what you can do to clothes, or, and how it looks. And incautiously held it upright. Okay, well let's stop there, and we'll talk about the word whereupon. The word whereupon isn't a very common word in spoken English. It's more of something that you would encounter in reading, in written English. Uh, but... You, I, I guess you could use it in spoken English if you wanted to. It would be a little bit strange. It sounds pretty fancy for regular conversation. I guess the time that you would want to use this word is 
uh, if you're taking a test for English and you want to impress the people who are uh, grading your test, you might want to use a word like whereupon. Whereupon just means after that. So one thing happened and then here's the thing that followed it. So Winston took, where, where was it? Uh, Winston took a cigarette from his crumpled pack of victory cigarettes whereupon the tobacco fell out onto the floor. So after he took the cigarette out, some tobacco fell. It just means after that. After that thing, another thing happened. Whereupon. Remember that for tests. Why don't we just wrap up this paragraph by reading the rest of it. He went back to the living room and sat down at a small table that stood to the left of the telescreen. From the table drawer, he took out a pen holder, a bottle of ink, and a thick quarto-sized blank book with a red back and a marble cover. So he took out a notebook and he took out a pen. It looks like he's about to write something. I wonder what it could be. And that's it for paragraph 11. Okay, so this is the really great time to go back listen to some of the previous paragraphs. Try to recognize the vocabulary that you've already learned. Maybe even watch this video again several times just to just to get an idea of what these words mean, how to use them. And uh, I will see you in paragraph 12. Okay, now please, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That would mean so much to me. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, then subscribe to my channel. Okay, until paragraph 12, goodbye.